today we are going to talk about respiratory system assessment which is one of the must know topic for the examinations like NCLEX RN and OSCE. If you are going for your NCLEX RN or OSCE examination in coming few days this video is going to be very very important for you. Hi nurses I am Navkir on this side and today I am going to show you how to do this procedure. So let us start with the assessment. See assessment of respiratory system or any system uh, it includes two type of data collection. One is a subjective data which we collect from the patient. Basically, it includes a history of any kind of diseases, allergies, surgeries and so. And one is objective data which is being collected by the registered nurse or doctor from the patient by doing series of inspections and you know all the, those uh, steps. So, we will start with the subjective data first. Uh, so, we have to start with the introduction, okay, so that the patient will feel like you know, she should not be confused that what I'm going to do on her. Hi, Rachel. I'm Navkiran, your nurse for today. And today I'm going to do assessment on your respiratory system. Is that okay with you? Yes. So first of all, I'll start with the inspection of the chest. So I will stand in front of the patient. I will look at the anterior chest and I should start with the quality of breathing or respirations as I can see that the rate is within the normal limits. She is doing the deep breathing, not doing any shallow or ineffective breathing pattern. If I look at the shape of the chest anteriorly and posteriorly, the chest is symmetrically rising and it is coming back symmetrically. And also the color of the chest is absolutely normal. There is no cyanosis or bluishness or paleness of the chest. In addition to this, if um, I can see the transverse diameter and anterior posterior diameter is within the normal range that is 2 ratio 1. This helps us to uh, you know diagnose the conditions like barrel chest which could be present in COPD. In subjective data we have to take the history from the client. So Rachel, uh, do you smoke cigarettes? No. Do you have any history of smoking? No. Do you have any problem related to the chest like a problem in breathing or uh, you know any pain in the chest? No. Do you have any history of surgeries in the chest area? No. Is there anything like you expectorate the sputum or something like that recently or currently? No. Okay. Do you have any history of tuberculosis tests being done on you? No. Okay. So this is a kind of subjective data which we collect from the patient. And now we will start with the objective data. The objective data is uh, collected by the nurse or the doctor by examination of the patient. And the objective data consists of four steps. First one is inspection. The second one is uh, palpation. Third one is percussion. And last one is auscultation. And let us start with the inspection. Okay, so let us start with the palpation of the chest. And we have to ask the client before starting this procedure. Uh, Rachel, I'm going to touch your chest now because I want to, uh, you know, uh, feel the areas uh, for any lumps or any abnormalities. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to uh, start with the anterior chest. So we have to check, like check in the whole anterior chest at the various points. See in female breast tissue is there. So you have to certain like at, at fifth or sixth point, you have to displace the breast tissue as well. So I'm inspecting the anterior chest for any kind of uh, lumps. Do you feel any pain or anything yeah. when I'm touching you? Okay. So can you please put your arm upwards? This, this arm? Yes. Thank you. Do you feel any pain or tenderness here? No. No? Okay. Thank you. So now let us check towards this area. Any pain or tenderness in this area? No. no? Okay. So now we are going to uh, palpate our patient posteriorly. Can you stand up for me? Okay. So now I am going to inspect this patient, uh, palpate this patient's chest posteriorly. So I am going to start similarly in all the areas of the chest. Rachel, do you feel any pain or tenderness when I'm touching you? So, thank you. You can have a seat. So, this shows that there are no lumps in the interior or posterior chest and there is no pain and tenderness when I'm touching my patient. And now I'm going to uh, start with a very important part of respiratory assessment and that is to check the excursion, chest excursion. And how I'm going to check it? I'm going to start it on the posterior part. Rachel, can you please come? Yeah. So if you see, uh, I will place my two thumbs into this area on uh, exactly at 10th uh, rib level approximately. And uh, if you see my, uh, you know, thumbs are 
uh, you know quite close now rachel can you please breathe uh, exhale and then breathe deeply first yeah yes can you do it again hmm absolutely correct thank you so much as you have seen that my thumbs are moving symmetrically that means the chest movement is symmetrical my thumbs are moving exactly in the same distance with exhalation each time that means the chest are moving symmetrically there is no asymmetry involved during expiration or inspiration okay nurses so now we are going to proceed to the next step that is auscultation this is one of the most important step when we are doing assessment of the respiratory system and in this case i'll be doing assessment both anterior part of the chest and on the posterior and even on the lateral sides so let us start rachel i am going to put my stethoscope on, on your chest because i want to listen to the breath sounds right so before we start i also want to tell you one thing that there are two type of lung sounds that you should be knowing one are normal sounds and one are abnormal sounds the normal sounds are bronchial sounds bronchovesicular and vesicular sounds the bronchial sounds would be heard over the trachea bronchovesiculars would be heard over the main bronchi and bronchovesicular will be there over the entire uh, chest and the abnormal sounds could be wheezing could be crackles could be ronchi that could be heard when you are auscultating your client so rachel i am going to put my stethoscope on your chest because i want to listen to the lung sounds so i will start with the apex of the lungs apices i will start with the apices and then i'll move downwards okay so first of all i'll put my stethoscope on the supraclavicular area rachel you have to breathe with the mouth and one deep breath thank you in female we have to displace the tissue little bit upward in order to listen to the you know last point thank you so much you can be normal for a uh, you know some time so basically now i'm going to do the lateral part as we know that on the left lung there are two lobes so we will be uh, auscultating on two points and on the right side there are three lobes so we will be auscultating in three points so rachel i just want you to raise your left arm first for me thank you thank you and now please raise your right arm thank you so much and now we are going to continue with the posterior part rachel can you stand for me <clears throat> again in the posterior part we will start from the apices of the lungs and then we will move downwards uh can you uh, take a deep breath so this is how the auscultation is being done thank you rachel so basically we have auscultated anterior lateral and posterior portion and i have noticed that there are no crackles or wheezing heard the lung sounds are absolutely clear and the patient was breathing we have to instruct the patient with the open mouth so that patient shouldn't be breathless during your auscultation and we have to listen for the one full respiration with each you know auscultation so nurses this was all about uh, the assessment of respiratory system i hope this video will be proved as very useful for you if you are going for your upcoming test for more such videos 
keep on following navkiran because it's your turn to become a registered nurse now subscribe our youtube channel and please let us know in the comment section how you like the video and what is the next topic on which you want me to make the video thank you so much